Hi there, on today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be looking at how we can get X particles to inherit the velocity information from objects from which they're being emitted from. Um, so this means we get some really cool kind of fluid organic motion effects in our particles. And with a touch of a bit of turbulence, we can even get what looks like some cool advection looking sims just simply by emitting them from a moving object. So that is what we're going to have a look at, motion inheritance. So let's jump into cinema 4D. In this scene then we have this animated platonic object. If we have a look in the object manager, here's our platonic. And it's animating because we've got a cinema 4D vibrate tag on there. And we've got some position values here. And we've got some rotation values here. And that's giving us this nice random uh, motion in our scene. Now we're going to emit particles from this platonic. So let's go to our XP emitter here. And if we activate it, you'll see that we're getting these static particles emitting from the platonic. Let's just quickly go to the object tab. We've got the emitter shape set to object. The object is the platonic that's in the link field. We're emitting from the edges of the platonic. And if we go to the emission tab, we're emitting all frames. Uh, the lifespan is set to 50 frames with 10 frames variation and we have no speed in these particles. And the result is that the platonic moves, it emits particles, but they just stay where they are because they have no speed and then they die off. All right, so let's look at adding some motion to this. Now, what we could do is we could just add a modifier, a turbulence to add some um, motion to this. Let's go to modifiers, motion. We'll bring in a turbulence and its default settings. We're getting some nice swirly swishy movement. And that looks pretty good. Let's just add a little bit of color to this. We'll go to the emitter, to the display tab, and we've got our editor display set to dots. Let's change it from single color mode to gradient parameter. We've got this nice pastel gradient loaded in. You can choose one from the preset. And look, by default, we're mapping this just to the age of the particles. So when the particles are just born, they're yellow. And as they get older, their color changes as they go along this gradient. And the very old particles are pink. And we can see that happening. So this motion looks very good, but there's something not quite right about it. And what's not right about it is that the movement of the platonic is not influencing these particles in any way. So we can do that by, let's just switch off the turbulence so we can see this happening properly. Let's go to the emitter, to the emission tab, and look, let me stop it. We've got a motion inheritance tab here. So let's click on that. And if we activate it, we've got two types. We've got linear direction and we've got rotational direction. So let's just switch off rotational first and hit play. And this is just taking the linear direction from our source object and passing on that velocity information into the particle. And we get this really, it's very aggressive, isn't it? Um, motion. Now this is far too much. It's because our platonic is moving quite erratically. So what we can do is just reduce this speed blend way down. And now we're getting something that's looking pretty organic and it it's makes it feel like the motion of the platonic um, is obviously influencing how our particles are moving. Now we've got a slight problem with this because right at the first frame a particle is emitted and the platonic hasn't moved yet, there's no motion to inherit. And so what happens is we get these static particles. So let's just sort that out. We'll go to the emission tab, emission, and instead of emitting all frames, let's click off that. We'll just start emitting on frame two. We'll end emitting on the last frame of our scene, 600. And now that will have solved that issue. OK, so this is our linear motion inheritance, which looks nice. But then if we go back to the emission motion inheritance tab, let's switch off linear and just put rotation on. And I'll increase the speed blend just so we can see it. So this is just getting that motion from the rotation of our platonic when it spins around. And we can really see that happening. That looks, I mean, that just on its own is a really cool look. So you choose which one you want. I'm going to choose a blend of both of them, but I'm going to just take the speed blend way down and we're going to have something a little bit like that. So now if we reintroduce our turbulence modifier, now we've got this base motion from the object. We're going to get a really cool look. Let's go to the turbulence, to the object tab. We can increase the strength of this, maybe put it onto 16. Reduce the scale bit 
perhaps. And that's looking pretty nice. So we've gone from something that was looking pretty good, but not really related to the movement of our platonic. And now we have got something where we've got that wispy turbulence of our trail, but it feels like the particles are part of the scene and are obviously being influenced by their parent object. So that's how we use motion inheritance on our particles.